Um, all right, we're joined here by interim head coach Miles Joseph. Miles, uh, another win. Uh, just your opening thoughts on on the team's performance today. Uh, first half, we felt uh, we had the game in hand a little bit, and then uh, we let it slip. Uh, we we gave up a couple opportunities and. Uh, it was unfortunate. They t uh, obviously they drew the game back. You know, after the uh, you know the VAR, they looked at it. Probably that lapse in time, our guys relaxed a little bit. But um, you know, that's soccer, and you know, and and we have to manage those moments and uh, be ready to when they restart play. Uh, so uh, we came in at halftime. Uh, guys were a little quiet, so we. You know, we talked about a lot of the stuff that we did well, and and uh, and we talked about uh, just a few things uh, on our press. You know, because I wanted to make sure that we were going to still stay on the front foot and stay in the front half of the field. Um, and we and we talked about scoring the next goal and then the next one after that. And I felt uh, that they executed that. We didn't get the the fourth goal, but um, I was happy we got the third. And then, you know, in that situation, when teams are desperate and they're in your house, you have to make some changes to play the game out. And I felt we did a really good job uh, getting the guys on and at the end of the game to close the game out. Uh, I would like the ball to go to the corner at the end just to close it out, but <laughs> a slight heart attack at the end. But, um, but yeah, I thought, uh, you know, it was it was a, a really good performance. I'm proud of the guys because uh, it's not easy, you know, with three games in a week and and to close out with nine points. I mean, we, we couldn't be happier. So, um, you know, long week, but we got there. All right, we'll open it up to questions. Miles, obviously, kind of a, a weird game with a lot, a lot of moments of, of you know emotional <laughs> intensity um, and disagreement between a lot of different people. Um, just keeping level heads in that moment, um, you know, for for the team to persist and then end up getting the result. What do you think that sort of says about where these guys are at right now? Yeah, I mean, they're locked in. You know, they they know what's on the on you know what they're playing for. They're playing for a chance to win an MLS Cup right now. And I mean that's the most the most important thing. And you're either on the bus or you're off the bus, right? This is professional soccer, and you know you have to be a good teammate. And if you're not playing, you have to be a good teammate. That's it. Um, on that s subject, mm -hmm. um, you know Ali Azevicic coming out today and saying that he's filing a grievance with the MLSPA. Um, just any additional response to that beyond oh, I stick to my last comment okay and you know Anthony tonight big moment for him as a young player to score his first goal here um, you know what, what can you say just about his performance I think you've seen the progression of Anthony and he's still gonna progress and I think tonight was just a small little highlight and what you're gonna see uh, He's a he's a you know electric player, and you know we're building his minutes. And I think um, as we progress and get into the playoffs and then make our run, he's going to be an important player. Hey, coach, I have a feeling you know what I'm going to ask you about tonight. We saw Mabiala come in yeah. and Eric Miller. Um, usually, what we've talked about before is kind of pressing that attack, and we ended up with five center backs. Yep. on the pitch tonight. Yeah. Can you talk us through that decision and why tonight was different, what it was about Colorado that made you feel we needed to be more defensive? Yeah, well, I thought, you know, obviously with um, limitations uh, from our, for our uh, full roster tonight with some players resting or some guys picking up a little uh, injuries just in the three-week span uh, or the three-game span, um, you know, I think closing out, like having the experienced guys in at the end of the game, would, it, it was really important. And they know how to close games out. They played in big games. And uh, so for us as a staff, we were, you know, who can we bring on that can still, we can still get our wing backs high and still be aggressive and step in and win the ball and then close the game out. And that was the thought process. We had talked about it yesterday at the training ground, and then we talked about it again before the game. Um, all these scenarios, even the almost red card, which would have been a you know 
uh, not the right decision. Uh, they ended up making the right decision, which is great. Um, we even talk about that those decisions. So um, uh, just credit to the staff and you know to to be ready and to close out the game. We we knew we would have had to prolong some subs tonight um, just to get to the right moment. So we were, we were uh, very pleased with that. Hey Miles, uh, congrats on the win. Um, just touching back on one of those slight knocks, Evander didn't play tonight. Just wanted to know if uh, that's a serious thing or if he'll maybe be back for the next game or not. Yeah, I, he's. I think he'll be back. I mean, I don't. I'm not a, you know, doctor, or medical trainer, or anything like that. But uh, he, he's. Uh, you know, it's it's three games in a week. You've got to all remember this, right? Guys are going to pick things up naturally. We've had seven games and you know, whatever span, three weeks or something, right? And it, it's a lot of football, soccer, right? It's, it's uh, you know, with trainings and, you know, the games are the most intense, right? And so, you know, through that, it's never going to be perfect. I mean, these guys are warriors. They're all warriors. And they, they put up with so much throughout the season. And, and you know, he'll, he'll, he'll recover and he'll be back for LA. I'm pretty, pretty sure on that. And then with him and Paredes out, Kalaskan stepped into the midfield and looked like he belonged in there, got an assist on Santi's goal, obviously. Just um, what, what do you think about his performance tonight? I mean, for, for Noel, we're, we're, you know, we have so much confidence in him. I told him yesterday in the training ground, like, hey, it's plug in place right now. We've trained all of these scenarios. You know, we put him in. He was great in training. Uh, he is a really intelligent player, um, and, and so we had no uh, no problem putting him in, and we knew he was going to do the job that was asked of him. Uh, couldn't be more happy for him. He's such a great kid, and uh, you know he's got a great future in the game. Hey, coach. Uh, obviously, you got a lot of players' minutes uh, in, in this short week. What does that say about just the depth that your team has? And just how proud of you are of the players who uh, stepped up, uh, given the opportunities. Yeah, again, it's uh, you know the way the roster is built. I can't take any credit with that, but um, there's a lot of good players on this roster. It's sometimes difficult to get everybody the playing time they deserve. Um, so you know, a credit to the guys uh, for being patient and, and hanging in there. And uh, you know, now we have three more games left, and whether it's in the games or in training, we're going to need everybody. And uh, this is a obviously the playoff push, but we're fully expecting now with the results that have that we've had to 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 make the playoffs and to execute in the playoffs. So uh, we're excited about that. All right, we'll wrap it there. Thank you, Miles, okay. and congrats. Thank you, guys. Thanks.